As we promised you, we're going to be talking to Fifi Cooper. Uh, she studied music, by the way, she's based in uh, South Africa, but of course she studied music way, way too back. Of course, that is when she was like eight. Now, it is always very hard to find a very, very talented artist if she hasn't passed through church. Most of them first go through choirs, then Wavamu choir, slowly by slowly, then they grow up, then they leave church, they leave choirs. Before you know it, now they're doing maybe circular music, you know. But when it comes to Fifi Cooper, of course, she has uh, worked with different artists too. She has, uh, she has uh, some, some album which is coming back. Of course, now the hash that we are using is called Nesto. Yeah, Nesto. Yeah, Nesto. Yeah, that is the hashtag that, of course, is supposed to become Jibagi uh, no Kubanga But uh, if, we, if we get her, then we can be having that chat with her. But, of course, I can just be giving you simple briefs as we are trying to get her on our sky. Of course, uh, she has a cherry chair. Uh, it is called Chela Chela. Morango, eh? <laughs> Chela Chela Morango. Uh, that's one of uh, the, the songs, of course, she has worked on. What's up? How are you doing that side? How are you doing, Fifi Cooper? How are you? I'm doing very fine now for the Ugandans who are watching in and they basically don't know who we are talking with given yeah. the fact that they've watched some of your music. I want you to give them a simple bio because I know much, you know, about you, but I want you to yeah. tell it to the Ugandans for the people who are watching online. Okay, no, well, it's very simple. Fifi Cooper is an award-winning artist and so up. label owner Mo Cooper Records and a TV presenter from Mafiking now based in Johannesburg South Africa ah that is so brief I just want to know even the songs that you've worked on and different artists you've worked on and of course the album that is coming up soon yeah I mean I started off in 2008 um I dropped a single called Chechela Muraho with Duke Singanga with you know Mavtonian people you know behind me supporting me on that and I did um an album in 2015 called 20 PP where I was working with MT. Mm -hmm. Label and I dropped an album again 2018 called Take Me Back and uh, Mo Cooper Records. So the music has been doing quite well, the music has been flowing. We scooped a few awards, we scooped like six awards for um, the album 2050. So, yeah, I mean, the journey has been great, can't complain much. Let's first talk about that hashtag Netto. Nest, net, net, <laughs> Right. It means we live like this. This is how we live. You know, no filters, no fakeness, no nothing. This is what we live. We want to give the people exactly, you know, who we are. And, you know, um, that's what the song is about. And I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, uh, as we... Um, yeah. yeah. So I thought like this is the right time for me to drop next year for the fans and for the fans because next year we're dropping an album. Okay, now when it comes uh, to COVID, uh, now we are just moving a little bit away from music so much because we are going to be coming back that side. Uh, when it comes to COVID-19, uh, how, how has it affected the people and more so when it comes to artists in South Africa? I mean, it has affected us so much that literally um, we didn't work for like six, seven months because we couldn't, you know, perform because of the, you know, restrictions of like how many people should be at a venue uh, because it happens with different, you know, um, levels of lockdown. But I mean, you know, I'm very grateful that during the lockdown, you know, we were able to get into studio and wrap up the album and make sure that the music is ready for the people. So I think what we were doing, you know, the most was record the music, make sure that the music is right. And also as a CEO and as a business Yeah, even to be, be challenges, but obviously we had to look um, at a positive out of a negative, and yeah, survive. 
Uh, has uh, the government helped uh, the people in art in any way? Have they, you know, uh, raised some funds for the artists that side or now everyone is independent? I don't know. It's just so tricky. Yeah, there are release funds, but I mean, there is processes and like the way you submit and all of that. Um, I don't know. Like I was not even looking into that that much because of like there's a lot of things that I'm also looking into, but I did, you know, apply for a few, um, you know, releases and I don't know. I just feel like there was a lot going on and I mean, there's still a lot to talk about and resolve. I'm looking at uh, Fifi Cooper, you know, who, are, who was in church, you know, doing music in church and, you know, you're in a choir and, uh, you know, you leave choir by eight years, you know, you, you started off your music and then you leave and then you move into, would I be right to say secular music? Uh, did it affect you in any way, you know, living, you know, serving the Lord God and now, you know, you're doing, you know, secular kind of music? It has never affected me in any way. I mean, my sister is a pastor. So growing up, that was my background. That was, you know, how we were taught. I mean, church was a normal thing for me to go to on a Sunday. And I still do that. It's just that um, um, my family has always supported me. And it affected me. I mean, I mean, on, you know, my previous albums, I do have one two gospel songs um because that's who i still am and i always you know go back and tap into that and make sure that people don't forget that i'm also a christian i think that's why i don't swear on my songs i don't know have you visited uganda so far or not yet or in any east african country listen i'm fixing my passport right now i want to call the airport and book a ticket it's a real thing mm -hmm. <laughs> any artists you know yeah, in in uganda any artists, you know, female or male, any, you know, in Uganda? <laughs> of course, the, 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 the network is getting us here and there. Uh, I was asking, any artists, you know, here in Uganda? Um, not really. Hey, I haven't been checking. Um, but, you know, obviously the team has a lot of people that, you know, they really want me to, you know, hear and listen to because as much as now I'm trying to spread my wings and, you know, um, go outside of South Africa, it's going to be important for me to really thoroughly go through like um, the people have been putting in the work and the people that I would really love to work with. So right now I'm just spreading my wings across Africa. Yonke, Netso, no felt, no nothing. And yeah, I don't know. I just feel like we need to have a session in studio and, you know, maybe I'll meet a few people out there. Who knows? <laughs> As we are winding up, of course, let's talk about the upcoming uh, album. Of course, uh, uh, basing so far, or oh, uh, taking most sim uh, uh, synthesis on uh, Netso. Netso. Yeah, Nexo, Nexo is my first single from the album that I'm going to Mm-hmm. Manika Nexo, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The album is about, you know, pushing upcoming artists and upcoming producers because I'm looking at signing new artists and producers now. So I've been working with a lot of people, you know, who are still underground, and that's the beauty of it because they come with the hunger and it's like super amazing you know to collaborate with like different people so the album is going to be absolutely incredible absolutely amazing everything more cooper net so yes sir now uh, we are winding up uh, i just want you in your language yeah in your local language yes. you know you can tell them everything mm -hmm. about you you can also tell them about your social media handles but of course uh, not forgetting uh, the album but in your local language let me tell you, it's going to be easy. Right now, when it's, uh, I just dropped a song, Barricky on the net, so it's on the album when you can get dropping next year, 2021. So, the Rahata or social platform, or one of the Tropile, get the links, this whole thing, or if you go to iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or the Fitella good thing. So, make sure you want to follow or what's in a more platform to get the song, but otherwise. Jarae thank you dropa alba moyaka and khutlo bogolo monate make sure gore ha o sa le go morago etso wow it's just like a written uh, to a hip hop song 
just you talking it was like a hip hop song i just had to put beats there and then it is out thank you very much fifi cooper of course uh, let's listen to yeah. our song just in case you got us a little bit late yeah of course frank dj a little bit later so let's let frank dj do what he can do best then after we're going to be getting back